Okay, this is a vein, a piece of a vein of um, minerals from Afghanistan, from the area of the Himalayas. And there are three minerals identified on it. The first one is little black crystals of magnetite, which is a ferrous ferric oxide. It's black because it contains all, both ferrous and ferric. Second mineral is epidote, which is a calcium aluminum ferric iron silicate, pistachio green. Nice little crystals, but nothing truly unusual. Third mineral on here is a calcium magnesium silicate with a little bit of ferrous iron, which gives it a deep green color. But none of those things are the really interesting thing on this particular sample. If you look at this sample from the direction that I believe you're looking at it now, you can see all those beautiful green and black crystals in there. Let me turn it around. Now it's covered with white, quote, snow, unquote. There is a white mineral that's coating it, but it's coating it only on one side. All those crystals show up. It's almost like snow on a branch. That is, the snow is on one side, the top side, and the branch is clear on the bottom. Naturally, that's gravity. I think the same thing has happened here. What happened is that while this was still filled with that hot water that was depositing minerals, the white mineral precipitated from the water as it cooled, settled down, and landed on the tops of the crystals. The bottom side didn't get the coating. So this indicates which way was up at the time that the, the, the minerals were deposited in this vein. Oh. This is interesting because when I went to school at MIT, the head of the department was a fellow by the name of Robert R. Schrock. And his doctoral dissertation back sometime around the dinosaur period was uh, uh, how to tell up from down in ancient rocks, uh, known colloquially as rocks tops and bottoms, up versus down. And I'm wondering, I don't have a copy of it, and I'm wondering if he had this particular top and bottom indicator mentioned in his book. Okay. In any case, I didn't notice this when I bought the specimen, but just glancing at it later, I noticed that when I looked at it from one direction, it was white, and when I looked at it in the other direction, it was green and black. Uh -huh. And it's why? Which, by the way, is a good point there. This is the way discoveries are made. Okay. You look at something and notice it and say, why? What's going on here? My, my explanation, by the way, is only a guess. If anyone has a better guess, they're welcome to, welcome to try welcome it. To Maybe try we can it. figure out a way to test the hypothesis. Right. Did this, this rock slightly magnetize? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, that's it. That's it. Wow, good.